There are new nesting features in Fusion 360 for March, and I'm going to show you advanced range today. Hey, it's Justin. Arrange is Fusion 360's simple nesting tool. It has fewer options than the other nesting tool called Advanced Nesting, which just came out for purchase today in the Nesting and Fabrication extension. I'll make another video on that extension. Check the description for that update. As of the time of publishing this video, it won't be out right away. So wait, there are multiple nesting things in Fusion 360 now? Yeah, there are a few options. Let me give you a quick rundown. There's Arrange, the Advanced Nesting extension, and then Advanced Arrange. New as of today is the Nesting and Fabrication extension that includes Advanced Nesting, and also the new today is the Advanced Arrange preview, which I'll cover in this video. Arrange comes with the EDU, Startup, and Commercial licenses. The good news is that while Advanced Arrange will be a part of the Nesting extension, while in preview, you don't need the extension to try it out. I'll include this breakdown and more information in our post on our website, which is linked in the description as well. If you aren't familiar, extensions are additional features that you pay a fee for. Fusion has multiple ways to pay for extensions. You can do a free trial, pay for one day, a monthly pass, or even do a, an annual option. Anyway, what you need to know here is that if you're on a personal license, you won't have access to any of the nesting tools. If you have an EDU or a commercial or startup license, you can go and turn on the preview for Advanced Range right now and try it out. Now, real talk for a second. I know this will be frustrating to some of you. Keep in mind, extensions allows pro features to be paid for separately to those who need it for their work. This keeps the paid license of Fusion 360 more affordable as a baseline cost. To turn on the Advanced Range preview, click on your profile in the upper right and then choose Preferences. Click Preview Features on the bottom left of the list and then search for Arrange in the search field. Check the box next to Advanced Arrange. Also, while we're in Preferences, now that the Base Arrange tool is out of preview, you'll need to turn that on too. Look under General on the left and find Design. Then look in the center toward the bottom of the list and check the box next to Enable Arrange and Simplify Tools. Push OK and now we can go explore Advanced Arrange. Arrange lives in a couple spots in Fusion 360. The first is in Design, and the other is in Manufacturing Model in the Manufacturing Workspace. In the Design Workspace, I've pinned Arrange to my toolbar, but you can find it under the Modify dropdown. You can use it in either place just the same, it just depends on when you need it for your project. I'm going to open the file for one of our products, the drill holder. For any Fusion 360 nesting tool, each body needs to be its own component. This project has been set up that way. It's almost like I knew this was coming. That's basically all Arrange needs to get nesting. To get started, just click the Arrange tool. You'll get an Arrange dialog box. We can then select our shapes. I'm just going to drag a window over all my objects here. And then you can see those listed in the window on the right. If we basically leave it how it is um, and then go to Sheets, we can just create a sheet we want by selecting a plane. I'm going to turn on the origin and select the XY plane here. So that's where I want to draw my box. That's my sheet. Let's say 48 by 24. We're just going to leave the sheet margin and border and we almost immediately get a nested result that's just as optimal as it can put it on the sheet. So this is basically what you're getting with the standard arrange tool except for that it's doing multiple sheets. So if I want to get that on one sheet, I can just change it to 36, and now I've got everything on one sheet here. If I back up a second, one of the ways you can tell you're in the advanced arrange is that you have a sheets tab. You won't have a sheets tab if you just have the standard arrange tool. If we push OK, that's our nested sheet of parts, and we can go set up cam for this now. What's cool about arrange is it's a timeline feature. You can drag back and keep designing, and then scroll back forward, and your design will be updated within the nest. Now we really didn't go through all the features of Advanced Arrange. One of the big perks besides multiple sheets is the ability to constrain part rotation. This matters to people like myself who want something like their material wood grain to look as expected and not a crosshatch pattern. Let's edit the Arrange feature by double clicking it. For each component, you'll see three checkboxes. That allows you to control 90, 180, and 270 degree rotations. 
Often I want just 180 degree rotations. It's pretty annoying and hardware taxing to have it recalculate after each checkbox. Click this auto preview button to stop the solver while you make the changes. I'll also change the item separation to 0.375 inches, that's the spacing part to part. After you've made your selections, you can turn on auto preview to see the results. There's also a way to manually rotate parts if you want a specific off angle. I'd recommend turning off auto preview, things get pretty hairy and you may have a crash if you have a heavy nest. To manually rotate an item, select it and rotate it as you would other objects in Fusion. You can drag the rotation handle or enter a value. If a range doesn't do what you're looking for, remember you can just manually move or rotate items after the arrange object in the timeline. Personally, I like using a range to see if my design is using material efficiently and also to get an idea for material usage for quotes. It's quite a bit faster to set up and get a result from than the full manufacturing advanced nesting tool. In either version of a range, if you want more parts, you can just use a simple array command. We'll choose our parts and make a rectilinear array. I'll add three sets of parts. Before we start a range, let's also draw a sketch to act as our stock instead of a plane. Let's say I have this stock that I want to use up in my shop, but it has a piece missing from it. We can totally make that work. So let's say the stock I want to use has a bad area in the back right, and then this strange circle space I don't want to use in the front. If we finish that sketch, we can start our range and select our bodies, go to Sheets, select sketch face, and then select that sketch I just made. If we turn on the preview, that's pretty much all we need to do to get a solution. You let it think a little bit, and it's got us a nice nested sheet, and it doesn't use any of those spaces I said that we shouldn't use. I can even change the border spacing here to 0.5 inches. It'll auto update and give me a different solution. And so the idea of this arrange is that it's constantly recalculating a new solution, depending on if you change your design or you need to move around your sheet so that it's a different dimension. And this allows you to kind of constantly evaluate whether or not your design fits within a parameter of a certain stock size or a standard stock size. What's cool is you can close the arrange like I'm doing here, and you can continue to make changes to your stock sketch, move the circle around, move the square around, drag the boundary around and arrange will continue to make changes so that you can validate whether or not this is a good nest or not. One more example. Let's use this crappy model I made of a waffle jointed bench. It's only bodies right now, but we need components for nesting. You can easily create them by shift selecting them all in the tree and right clicking. Then select create components from bodies. There we go. Now we can create an arrange. We're going to select all of our objects. We can select them in the tree this time. Go to Sheets, select a plane. I'm just going to do XY plane again. We'll do that as 48 by 96, which is a standard sheet of plywood. Do preview here. There we go. Beautiful nested sheet of parts. I will share this model if you'd like to download it. It'll be in our blog post. It's kind of a mess. Uh, it's a good thing to test if you want to play around with advanced arrange. If nesting looks like something you want and upgrading to a paid license makes sense, I'd appreciate if you used our link to purchase Fusion 360 in the description below. We get a small kickback for your purchase. That really helps us pay for making these videos. If you want to support the channel but don't want a Patreon-like subscription, Buy Me A Coffee is the perfect option. The idea of buy me a coffee is to offer someone a cash equivalent of buying them a drink as a thank you. It's a one-time thing to show your support for the channel and keeps the content and coffee flowing. Look for the link below for buy me a coffee. If you want to get our cat and cam models that we show in the videos, subscribe to our Patreon at cnc.money. Thanks. If you haven't subscribed, it's imperative you do. I know if you watched this far, you obviously enjoyed it a little.